face. It's your brother Ray coming back. RiseandFellsConsciousness.com It's good family. Yeah, this video was about 6 9 and the bleaching of hip hop. Um, hip hop right now, hip hop rap, whatever you want to call it, um, is very negative, at least mainstream. Talked about this already, but you know, it's getting more crazy now. Hip hop is controlled by um, uh, corporate America. Um, now it's it's been black people, black face people, my whole life. Um, coming up in the nineties, you had um, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, and all of them. These are the black face people, but they had they rap a white agenda. And then in the early two thousands, when I was going into my teens, you have um. Eminem, who's physically white, and um, Bratton is um, rapping the white agenda. And you had DMX, um, Street stuff, Jay Z, Jada Kids. You know, these are all physically black, but they're basically white supremacists on the mic. You know, they rap about the stuff that keeps black people, black men in jail, keeps black men dead, um, over sexualizes the women. Creates single mothers, prostitutes, strippers, you know, this whole culture, this is hip hop culture. Now, right now, 2018, you have Cardi B, um, Cuban Doll. These are street thugged out chicks, you know, they rap the prostitutes, stripper stuff, you know, the you drug use. I even saw nine year old girls walking around um, singing. Cardi B's lyrics and now you know they got Logic even though he's a positive rapper he's still um, half white so they're bringing in these white faces you got the guy who um, made the song with Chris Brown you got the other one Gucci Mane Gucci Mane I don't remember his name um, he's physically white too so not only you know they had the black faced rappers these all these years but now they seem like they're phasing out the black rappers and putting in the white face rappers. Even even I'm um, like six nine. He's a white boy, a white Hispanic, and he walk around calling people nigger. And he got thousands upon thousands of black people following him. Some of his view videos, he got three hundred million views, two hundred million. This dude is hot. He's on fire. He's bringing back the genocidal gang element. Street gun bus after bar after bar to hip hop, you know, with old school 50 Cent and Jada, that kind of style of hip hop. Even more extreme, he's bringing that back. So, you know, hip hop is definitely dangerous. You know, it's keeping us stagnated. A lot of our sexual behavior is based off of what they hear in songs. You say, oh, you know, she, or oh, this rapper, he, he's, um, messing with this chick this chick and we think this is the normal thing to emulate or the females you know they talk about having sex for money our daughters is listening to this stuff and you know these people are black faced but they are really white supremacists you know keeping us in this foolishness you know we're the only race of people who have um shit music you know where we listen day in and day out and it's just negativity after negativity. You know, not to say that there's no conscious um, rappers, positive music, but this is not, those are not the main um, things that's socially engineering the people. Most of the people are being socially engineered by the mainstream, what you hear on the radio, what you see on the TV, on the major YouTube stars. And, you know, if you have, if you can keep your kids away from it, even keep yourself away from it because they have you thinking certain behaviors is normal and cool um so on that note thanks for watching always remember check out my website rise of peace